Hi everyone, I'd like to explain some way to have basics uh, with Minecraft. So here I have Minecraft running, I'm connected to a local server, and I'd like to do an application that will summon mobs uh, every 10 seconds at the player. So already I can think of a scheduler that will uh, run uh, some summon service, and the summon service uh, would basically just you know summon a mob and returning it. So this is what I have here, just a simple interface uh, and a simple interface for the mob also, not only the service. Uh, and I have uh, an abstraction here just to run this on the local server. Uh, and already this is something I can deploy. So all I need here is to build a runtime. Um, in my case, it's Caraf, and I just, uh, I'll just start Caraf here and connect to Caraf uh, on another terminal. So I can check the logs on one hand um, and uh, you know watch uh, the modules on the other end. So just clean that up. Um, and we can build the minimal, uh, as I said. So we'll do that minimal. So it's building the API and the scheduler and we see what's going to happen. So here we can see uh, the jars deployed and we can see on the module list that I have the scheduler and the API. And what's happening here is uh, that uh, there is no summon service available. So no, my scheduler knows that you know there is no implementation during the runtime. So it just uh, gracefully tell me that. So we can check quickly uh, what it is about so my scheduler is just a uh, runnable and is checking if uh, services are null or empty and log uh, this message so what are the summon services it's a list um, and you have the annotation reference from OSGI and it's saying that you know I can have multiple implementation during the runtime and the greedy is uh, if there's new implementation please give it to me uh, so let's see if I add some implementations. And you see I have um, a module here, uh, Summon Animals. So I grouped, I bundled together multiple implementation, you know, to Summon Fox, uh, uh, a ship, a turtle. Uh, you can see just creating the entity and summoning it. So let's see what happened. Let's build this module and only this module. And that's uh, also important. I don't have to rebuild the scheduler or the API. Uh, it just exists during the runtime. So here I'm just deploying animals and you can see in the game and in the logs that I'm summoning new total ship and fox. Great, so I can do that with other mobs, you know, other kind of mobs. And I actually bundled together also enemies. So I have a, another module uh, with summon creeper, skeleton and zombie. So we can, do the same thing and you know build enemies and just deploy this one and you can see in the runtime now i have a new module enemies i'm just waiting for my scheduler uh, because it's it's running uh, every 10 seconds and now i have a new zombie new skeleton new creeper among the other uh, mobs uh, here my animals so we can see in in practice that it's actually getting all the implementation without knowing, knowing them, yeah, just know the API. Uh, another thing I could do is just, I stop the log and I could say, I don't want to spawn animals. I already have many people here in my server. So I could just simply stop uh, my bundle with animals. And you can see it moved from active to resolved. Now, if I go to back to the logs, I should see only enemies popping and same in the game. So new zombie and your skeleton and new creeper. So that was basically it, just showing the power of modularity uh, in OSVI. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, thanks for watching.